Prime Minister, of the more than 2,900 people issued visas from the terrorist-controlled Gaza war zone, primarily let in by the former Immigration Minister, the member for Scullin, have all of them been subjected to a biometric test and an in-person interview? On uh, biometric testing, there is something that the Director General from Asia addressed as well on, on uh, his insider's interview on Sunday. Uh, what we have done is to make sure uh, that we work with our security agencies to keep Australians safe. That's what we do. And in terms of uh, the result of that, on uh, order, the member for KC. This morning, um, one of those people, uh, Dr. Mona Kaskeen, I listened to her on, on RN this morning. She's a Palestinian neurosurgeon who fled Gaza, who's now in Sydney. This is what she said about how she got to come here. Uh, the people who came from Gaza, they are seeking good life for them and their children. They are very highly qualified people because many of them are doctors, engineers. They are people seeking a good life. We came here just to live in peace and to protect our family. I like Australia. I like living here. It's quiet, safe. My children feel safe here. The people from Gaza, they want to live safe and protect their family. They want to live in peace. Yeah, I'm talking about a real human being, yeah. a real That's human right. being, who's now here. That's right. What she went on to say, and that's what this Order. is, and that's what this is about. Exactly. Real human beings, with real children and real families, and real trauma and real tragedy, Order. and the impact that that has had, whether it be the innocent lives that have been lost in Israel or the innocent lives that have been lost in Gaza, that has had a traumatic effect on everyone who is related to them here and on the communities, whether they be uh, the uh, Israeli community or the Palestinian community. And that is one of the reasons why uh, we have been asked by those people who run our national security to lower the temperature, to think about what we do as political leaders.